It's your boy Noto coming to you with another video, coming to you with another podcast, man. And in today's podcast, we're gonna talk about how you can get away with a lot as a handsome man, bro. You can get away with a hell of a lot, hell and high water, damn near murder as a handsome man, bro. I'm gonna tell you that now, bro. You can you can get away with not having your shit together. You can get away with cheating. You can get away with kept coming in late to work. You can get away with getting free food and and, and, and in restaurants and all kind of stuff. You can get away with overpacking a scale at Golden Corral and they letting you buy. You can get away with skipping the line and they just glad that you right there. You can get away with all kind of stuff, right? <laughs> all kind of stuff, right? It is it is a plethora of things you can get away with, bro. And the thing is, a lot of people like really, really kind of make it easier for handsome man in some in certain ways because of that, especially in like in working environments or in school environments. Like, okay, for example, in the working environment, getting away with being late. Especially if you got like a female supervisor, some of them might some of them might punch you in. You know what I mean? Some of them, uh, some of them will vouch for, some of them of uh, uh, cover for you. Trust me, because they don't do that for everybody. I'm gonna tell you that now, and they can't really risk trying to do that for everybody because they'll end up getting in trouble. But some for some reason they will end up risking their job because at the same time, when they're looking at for you like that and punching you in, that can penalize them. So they're really risking their jobs for you. Risking their position. They, they go out their way, seriously. They will go out their way. And you get away with so much stuff, bro. Get away with cheating. Most of the time, we gonna always get away with that, bro. Always. Because if, it's, if she's very, very attracted to you, we gonna, bro, she gonna let that shit go. She gonna bitch about it. She gonna moan about it. Of course, that's, that's in, in a female's nature to do that. But... Ultimately, you most likely gonna get away with that shit, bro. Especially if she like you well. If she's very, very attracted to you, and you very, and she know you considered a handsome man by a lot of, lot of women, she most likely don't want to lose that. And like she, in, she really, really into you. You can get away with just about everything, bro. I'm gonna tell you that now, cause it's just, it's just, it's just the way it is for us. Get away with getting extra food. Cause I remember one time I was at Go to Corral. I mean, you know they got like a they 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 they'll put your food on the scale, right? And this girl, she was like following around. Cause she worked, she worked there. She was at the scale, but she was like, between me and you, you can get another plate and put it on top of that. And I was like, shit, I went and filled up, filled up, and I and I and I ended up buying two big ass takeout plates for one for the price of one. Seriously, man, that shit, bro. And even and even if the store would have caught on camera, most likely it, in in those cases they they'll pay for it themselves. They will pay for it themselves, bro. Like it'll be, it'll be times where it was like this cashier, she was thick as hell, thick as a motherfucker, bro. And I, and I just had like I had like a bill, and I was about to give her some change, but she was like, "No, I'll pay it for you," and like or whatever. It'd be little shit like that. You just get away with little shit like that. Just you can get away with not having enough. Get away with not having anything to your name. But still can fuck. But still can but still can be up in the house. Still can drive her shit. Even though you ain't got your own shit, you can get away with that. Man, you can get away with them they're not having nothing. He's handsome, man. <laughs> I'll tell you that now, bro. Y'all don't y'all don't understand that, bro. It's almost like being almost inducted. You almost have the powers of a homosexual when you're when you're a handsome man, bro. When you're you're viewed as very attractive to women, you get away with a lot of shit. Especially when you got the body to match, and you you got a strong looking body, utilizing the uh, utilizing that man. It ain't it, it, <laughs> it ain't too much. You can't. It ain't too much. You ain't gonna be able to get away with like that. But my my thing is. It's not like you just gonna go out here and don't don't have to live by by no by no rules or nothing. But a lot of stuff would be a lot easier for you. And I know a lot of y'all understand that. You you would get away with getting stuff wrong on tests, 
they'll up your points up just a little bit just so you can pass. You, man, you can you can get away with doing stuff at a party that you had no business doing, but and you get caught and you happen to know this female officer and she ended up letting you off the hook, even though you was one of the primary suspects. <laughs> That's experience. But man, well, you you'll be surprised and how many how many uh hacks how many how many situations I've been in with females in in a higher position that gave me favoritism simply because of that and I know it was because of that because of the flirtatious behavior I would I would end up getting jobs simply because of that because of my interview process I walk in that bit looking sharp as a motherfucker bro sharp as a motherfucker clean cut everything and I'll get the position and they'll say that there's 10 other people to get this position why should I get this position to you and now you know I just I just kept it cordial but and you know that as you can tell it's like a whole bunch of flirtatious energy and the thing is females are always I just noticed something about that they're always evaluating you on that like sexually in, in a certain way they always sexually evaluating you and because you, you can always see that even if even if she ain't trying to fuck you right then up and there but it's always some type of sexual evaluation going on. Trust and believe that. Trust and believe that. They could be married and, and, and all that. They can, they, man. I'm telling you, bro, you can get away with hell and high water. Seriously. Be the time I met my homie. It was, it was my homie. He he locked up right now though, but it wasn't because of this. That's what I'm saying. It wasn't because of this. But he had them broke into the girl house. And took her and, 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 and stole her nigga Jordans. And he and she and she, but it's a dude that she used to she used to mess with though. And I most like a lot of the girls like that was a dog. Like we have me and Hens to go and uh, fuck holes together. But anyway, man, he went he went and took he went and stole her he went and stole her nigga Jordans, bro. He went and stole her dude's Jordans. At the, and she knew it was him because she <laughs> because uh I guess why she was, uh, she was, she was, I guess she pretty much was cheating on him, on her boyfriend with him at some time. So that's probably how they knew they, he knew they was in there. But when the shit happened, she ain't filed no police reports or nothing. And we had, and not to mention, he ended up coming back and taking the TV, the flat screen TV too. I forgot all about that. Yeah, he came and took the, the flat screen TV too. Yeah. And he didn't even report him to the police, none of that shit, but she knew who it was. None of that. You can get away with that shit when you're laying down that wood and you you handsome. You consider a handsome man. But he was considered hood handsome. Hood handsome. And they, they, you know, both of us. He was considered hood handsome and sexy and shit. Like, whatever the, whatever the fuck. I'm talking about we run the train, little bitches, and all. Like, no. Shit was, shit was ridiculous. Man, but anyway. That shit was just... <laughs> that was a real funny situation, though. Because, like, bro, like, that just show you the power of... Being able to get with, get away with shit just because you look good, bro. like for real, it could it, it could do that. But even though y'all could be like, well, she just ain't want her boyfriend to know. Her, she don't give a fuck about that shit. They 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 fight and they down and break up every goddamn day. So something like that, he always accusing her of cheating or whatever. Anyway, so it won't be no different from another day if she covering up for him. She just ain't want that man to go to jail. Everybody busy trying to ask her who did what and who did this. She ain't really try to let it get out. She just told one person that she tried to, the, the one girl spread it out or whatever. Cause she wasn't really gonna say nothing about this shit. That's the power of being able to get away with shit, guys. Get away, man. I'm trying to tell y'all. I can just go ahead on and just. But like I say, you can't just break shopping. Just go out here breaking the law. Just thinking that. Oh, the female police officer just gonna let y'all talk. You got a lot of cameras and little lot of bitches out here. You, and of course, you ain't gonna attract every female. That's a given. But in the situations that you are in, you get away with a hell of a lot. It's like me at EVS. I got away with sleeping in they sleeping in they uh in they break room a lot during uh during during like my shift because like with me, I was just, I was a uh, trash guy. I took out the trash, so when I went and when I went throughout the facility, 
the, well, the it was multiple facilities they connected through, you know, but I, I know that place like the back of my hand still to this day. But as I, I get done connected, collecting uh, the trash from the facilities, it take about a couple of hours for, for them to fill the trash back up because they don't pull again until the mornings. So what I would do, I would go into this place uh, when they break rooms and I'd go in there and take a nap for about an hour or two. And they didn't even give a damn. At first, at first it was a problem. They didn't even really fuck with me like that. But then after that, and I started, you know what I'm saying, they got started. They started getting used to me. They was, they was fucking with me, but they, they had one rule that I couldn't bring nobody else up there. And, and, and to keep it real with you, they really said that they didn't want other dudes to come up there because they was ugly. That's what, that, that was, that was, that's what they said. That's what came out their mouth. It's not what I'm saying. It was, it was only, it was only one other dude that they, that they approved of and that could come up there too. So, and, and I guess, you know, no homo, he was definitely considered handsome towards them and the way they reacted to them, of course, and it's similar to the way they reacted to me. So, you know, uh, cause one of them came in there, cause sometimes, you know, they come in there for meetings before they start the ship. And I'll be sitting right in there while they having a, uh, while they having a meeting. That's not allowed, but they allowed me. Because the charge nurse, the charge nurse is always flirting with me. And the charge nurse is the one that's over those week, those meetings. So they didn't give a damn and nobody, and if somebody said something, she'd get on their ass. That's how, that, that's how far it went. That's how far it went. But anyway, it's your boy Noto, man. Coming to you with another video. Coming to you with another podcast, man. We on our road to Roy K. I appreciate the support. I appreciate all the feedback, man. Y'all can click that like button. And subscribe, man. And remember, anybody can approve themselves if they willing to work at it, man. I'm out. Thank you.